Hey guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to a Let's Play of RimWorld. So, I got a bunch of stuff to talk about right before we actually start the Let's Play. Um, first and foremost, as you can see from the title, there is a warning in there that this will contain some mature content. So, viewer discretion is advised. Another thing is I have never played a colony simulator on my channel before except for I guess if you could consider this war of mine uh, but that was more about decision making uh, based on some really really refined resource management this is gonna be a little bit different this is pretty much a sandbox colony simulator where you kinda like just like build bases and defend and just try to exist for as long as possible so I have no idea how long I'm gonna be doing this let's play it really all depends how you guys like it and I am going to do I'm gonna to try to keep the episodes around a half hour um, and all the backseat gaming that you guys can give me is welcome because I am really shitty at any kind of strategy game except maybe kingdom and I used to be really shitty at that one so at any rate we're gonna start a new colony I did play the tutorial and a little bit of the um of like a new campaign or whatever so um, like I said, I'm going to be I'm going to be real real slow here, guys. I just want to get into it. It's going to be real natural. I'm probably going to say some stupid shit. I'm probably not going to know what I'm doing half the time. Just relax, all right? It's going to be fine. Anyway, um so I'm going to treat you like you haven't seen RimWorld before because uh, a lot of you may not have. So, this is basically a few different types of ways that you can predict how events are going to happen and we're going to do it like this because the classic Cassandra classic is um, a steadily increasing curve of challenge uh, while this one is like uh, big gaps in between disasters and this is completely random so I think this will be good and this is the, the like the difficulty level and we're going to go with some challenge because base builder is like easy weak sauce and uh, and rough is intended for people that have played rim world before which technically I have but I haven't uh, there's a few different um, few different things that you could select here, but I think I'm gonna go with the default as far as randomizing the seeds. Uh, I don't know. Let's um, honesty, Helene, Leg Legula, cash, <laughs> cash, money, cream. <laughs> we'll go with cream. All right, um, and let's just generate and see what happens here. Okay, so. In the tutorial, it started me off in a temperate forest, flat. So I think that's what we're going to choose here. Forest, temperate, terrain, flat, okay? And I, I don't guess it matters, like, where you're at, technically. We can go on the, we're going to go on the west side. West, west, west side seems pretty good. This is actually a pretty, they got some mountains and stuff around here, so that might be pretty good. What is that? Some kind of purple deal. Faction base. Hamlet at the Hawk, Outlander Town. Oh man, I don't know if I don't know if we should do it right there. Maybe we get well, let's let's go right here. This will be in the kind of in the middle of everything. Okay, select site. Okay, and now we have the colonists. So there's a few different things that we have to consider here, uh, along with normally the the basic skills. You also have some traits. You have what they're incapable of doing and also their health and their relationships. So uh, we're gonna try to make this a little bit personal too. Um, so let's see, I think that I would like to start, is there anybody with a high construction skill already? Uh, not really, so I'm gonna start with trying to get a reasonably high construction skill because we're gonna have to do a lot of, of building. At least at first we will. And I guess we're gonna be building all throughout the game, so it would be nice to have a higher level construction skill just to start with. Just so we know what the fuck we're doing. Let's see. Uh, construction 10 is not bad. Shooting 12. That's actually a pretty good combination because we'll have somebody that can build and somebody that can help defend. Plus their crafting is good. What are they not good at? Medicine, artistic, and research. Okay, so they're not exactly the brains. Oh, and it's a she. Um, let's see. Female colonist of colony age 45. Chemical interest. She's a druggie, apparently. Uh, <laughs> NG has usual, uh, unusual interest in chemical sources of enjoyment. She will consume more of them. She will sometimes go on social drug binges. Oh my! You know, I once knew a chick named Lacey that was a big druggie. So we're gonna go ahead and call you Lacey Lou. We're gonna de de we're not gonna use uh, real last names or whatever. Lacey Lou um, Lush. Because that's, <laughs> that's how we're going to go with. Alright. Um, 
I guess this is this is how Lou engineer. Wait, why doesn't it show? Why doesn't it show uh, Lacey? Lacey, oh, I don't, and now it shows the tab. Okay, that's what we want. Lacey Lush. That's what we'll call her. Okay, so Lacey Lush is gonna be um, our recreational drug user slash person that knows how to shoot rifles or guns in general. Okay, um, okay. Now we've got to get someone that's okay. Is Lacey good at mining? No. Mining and growing, no. Cooking, no. All right. So we need somebody that's a little bit more domesticated in, in that manner. So let's randomize a little bit and try to get something uh, pretty good there. Social is nice too. Are you social at all, Lacey? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Um, also, having a some skill in that wouldn't be that bad. Uh, let's see. Melee. Oh, there's too many things that he couldn't do. How about... Okay, cooking is good here. How about anything else? Not really. Cooking medicine. Maybe we ought to randomize a little bit more. Um, cooking at 11. Growing at 5. Social at 11. Medicine and animals. Okay, this is, this is workable. Can't shoot to save his life. Um, oh, female. Another female. Actually, let's get a ma oh ex lover Pete Holiday. Oh, I guess. Oh no, we don't want we don't want that kind of drama. <laughs> we don't want that kind of drama. All right, um, cooking and medicine are both decent. Shooting is very very good. Uh, social is good. Animals is good. Not artistic at all and can't do research. Okay, this is the second person that really can't research. So research is gonna have to be something that we really worry about um, ahead. And because let's see, you're a good cook. And, well, you're a decent cook, and you can shoot really well. You know what? I am going to call you Zuljan. I, I claim to be a pretty good cook, but let's just face it. I'm not the best cook, and we're just going to go with gaming right here. Anyway, that's a weird last name, but that's the way it's going to go. I'm left-handed. No, I'm not really left-handed, but... Uh, <laughs> Okay, and I did do research. This is not typically implying that I'm abrasive and I'm physically sensitive. Is that physically? No. Psychically? Psychically sensitive? Psychic sensitive. Zuljin's mind is unusually sensitive to psychic phenomena. <laughs> Alright, this is not me at all, but we're going to take it anyway, okay? Um, and let's check out Pete here. So, research is good. Growing is awesome. Uh, cannot fight at all, though. And we have minor Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh my god. Who can we... And incapable of violence. Okay, so won't ever hurt anybody. Um, prostophobe. What is that? Pete believes that the human body is limited for a reason to him. Bionic parts are unethical. Okay, that's not... No, no, so no prosthetics. Gotcha. Um... Genetic engineer, artesian farmer. So let's see here. Um, with good growing and good research, I don't know of anybody that's really a scientist that I know or a grower of some sort. My dad really likes to. Um, my dad really likes to like garden, and he does a lot of research. You know what? Let's let's let's. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Robert. 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 And I'm actually just going to go gaming here. <laughs> All right. There we go. So, Robert. Robert's 88 years old? Oh, my God. <laughs> 66. I don't know how long people live. 45. Okay. We got a good well-rounded crew here. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and start. Oh, man. This is going to be something else. Okay, let's see what our starting area looks like. These the the three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape pods before your ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world and as pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, making you start making plans to survive. All right. So, I guess oh, there it is. There's our little pods. 
So if you're on mobile, it's going to be really, really difficult to see, most likely. Oh, we got a little pit too. Okay, so the way that this works is we're going to need to set up shop pretty quickly here. We're going to need a place to stay. Um, we're also going to need a place to store stuff. So we're we're paused right now, so it's not a big old deal. Uh, I am going to set up an area for um, stockpiling. Okay. Actually, let's look around a little bit. Do we have any plate? Yeah, there's already. Looks like there's already a couple things already built around here. If we were to go, if we were to travel there, this would be a nice place to start off with, kind of because it's already got some of the stuff that we need built in. Hold on, what is this? Oh no, cancel. Hold on, I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. What is this actually? Sandstone chunks. Okay, so this would need a little bit of work before we really got into it. Um But I think it would be a, a nice place to hang out. I really do. Plus there's some stuff that we can use for mining around here. Marble, compacted machinery. Heck, we could build our main spot like right into the mountain and just expand from there as we mine, that's probably not a bad idea. And then we could use these little areas here as different. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, everybody, oh now, but all our supplies are right here. Hmm, I don't know if that's such a good idea then. I don't know, maybe we should just start building right here. Because if we designate our spot like, man, I don't know. If we designate our spot right here, maybe I think that's what we're going to do. Instead of going on this side, we're going to go on this side. Uh, and that should be good because the our supplies aren't too far out there and we can always haul. Okay, so let's set that, that area here. Let's set out a stockpile zone. A dumping? No, a stockpile zone. Uh, we're going to set the stockpile zone right here. Uh, 10 by 10? 10 by 10? There we go, a 10 by 10 stockpile zone. There we go, and as far as our building is concerned, let's go ahead and set up structures. We're gonna do a wooden wall that's connected. This is gonna make it really, really big, but that's okay. We're gonna do it like this. Bam, all right. And this, this little area right here is gonna be designated for something else. Uh, in fact, we could put a door right there. So the door is going to be right here, and we're also going to put a door right here, okay? There we go. So we'll have a door in and out both of these things. All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is kind of set up some beds. Um, at first, this could be our little bedroom area, which wouldn't be that bad. So let's select uh, furniture here. And we're going to do three wooden beds. Uh, we want them to rotate. Let's do bed, bed, bed. All right, now we're going to need... Uh, we do have a pet, right? We, yeah, we have a little pet. Uh, a female fennec fox <laughs> named Leanna. All right, Leanna. Uh, we're going to need light, a light source in here. So let's go ahead and select torch lamp. And we'll put it in this area. And we're going to need a... Well, we don't need any stools or anything like that. I think the only thing we're going to need other than that is like an animal sleeping spot. Let's just put Leanna in the corner. Okay. Uh, so, what? basically, when I unpause here, we're going to start to kind of prioritizing these different selections. We're going to be picking stuff up, grabbing what we need to construct it. Uh, there's a few different tabs that we can look from, like this, for instance. It shows what everybody is good at or what they're... Uh, they're selected to do. Uh, who is chopping wood right now? Lacey, are you already on drugs, boo? <laughs> so, if we go here, if I right click, you can see that we can select Lacey and we'll look at uh, which, what's going on with her right now. And she says she's doing, she's cleaning rock rubble. So, she's cleaning stuff out of the way so everybody can start constructing things. Um, we gotta make sure that. All of our people can select all of the materials that they need. So I tell you what, let's kind of select a few things here. Zuljan, can what what can you do again, my boy? You can. Uh, there's actually we need to get a few weapons too. I'd already forgot about that. There's a few weapons strewn about uh, because Zuljan's so darn good at shooting. We're gonna go ahead and have you grab. 
this this right here why is it not let me is it because oh right now it's forbidden okay all right I see now so what we can do is we can select all of our characters and we can when you click on anything it's selected as forbidden we need to basically make everything unforbidden you can have people not touch anything ever uh, but we want everybody to be able to touch everything I guess I don't think there's any reason not to but uh, I know it just allows you for some better orders or whatever so we'll we'll take that as it is um, what is this this is steel I think there's a lot of stuff that all right, I think we're pretty good now. Okay, so Zuljan, come and get this survival, this rifle. Lacey, you are, what are you good at again, dear? You are pretty good at shooting too, so you're gonna grab the pistol. And uh, Robert, this is not like you at all because technically you are very, very good at shooting as well. Um, but you don't have that luxury, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and equip the knife. I don't know what we'll use it for yet, but we're gonna use it. Okay. So we speed things up a little bit and have them doing their thing. We wanna be able to protect stuff and hunt as we go. Uh, you know what, now that we have this too, we're gonna wanna set up an area for a stove as well. So let's go with architect, uh, I think it's production. Uh, sculptor's table, butcher's table. Electric stove. Okay, so fuel stove is what we're gonna go with first because that's basically what we need. Oh man, um, I guess I could just put this anywhere right here. This will be, I guess this will be my little workshop area, and then we can do like, I don't know, a prison and a hospital up here. All right, so let's let's just do the stove right there. That won't be that bad. That way we can do a few of the tables along this wall, and it'll be fine. Um, I know the colonists need beds. So it's, it says some of these things too. Forbidding doors. You can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Uh, note this isn't a door locked. Doors are always locked so enemies can't pass freely. Forboding just, forbidding just directs your colonists not to use the door. Colonists who are going crazy might use the door anyway. Okay, mark is learned and storage tab. You can configure stockpiles and storage buildings by selecting them and opening the storage tab at the bottom left of the, the, the pane. Uh, the storage tab stockpile, you can expand categories to allow or deny specific items. Click the triangle to the left. Okay, so we don't have anything specific that we want to restrict or, or whatever. And we do have some wood that we can start with right now, so... I imagine that, yeah, look, Robert's already bringing some stuff there, so we're going to start putting items there. That's good. That's what I was hoping for. And Zuljan's building away. Look at him go. Dang, even Lacey. With her addicted ass running around to <laughs> get work done. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, yeah, we got stuff going on now. So you got to kind of watch out. Um, oh, we got the stove done already, too. So... When you select the stove, oh, hold on, identical thing already exists here. No, we don't want to do that. When you when you have the stove, you can select bills, and basically you can say what they are going to do or what we're going to keep up. Um, we're going to select meals, and we're going to put it at 10. I'm just going by this uh, with the, the tutorial uh, was doing it first. So that seems like it's pretty good, and that means they're going to try to keep 10 meals at all times, I believe. So they're not going to do that until we actually need to. Uh, also, let's look at building a table, because table is one of those things, like, they, if you look at a character's uh, needs, you'll see that right now, food, rest, joy, and comfort are all going down. Um, and I'm in a little pain, <laughs> basically. She's just looking for an excuse to, to take some drugs. But uh, what's going to happen here is that these things, you have to manage their needs specifically. And tables, if, if you eat without a table in this game, it, like, it, messes with your, um, it messes with your mood. So let's go ahead and go to Architect, Furniture, and we're going to do... Let's do a table and some dining chairs, I think. Um, a long table... And we'll put that in, we don't want to put it there because that's actually where the, um, 
I could almost put it against the wall here, can't I? And just put some chairs up against it. I think that'll work. Okay, so let's do dining chairs. Let's put a dining chair here, a dining chair here, and a dining chair... Oh, wait. Well, that's kind of messed up, huh? Hold on, let's cancel that. And let's put... Uh, let's put the dining chairs a little bit closer to one another, shall we? I'll just build four. Even though I don't have a fourth colonist right now, it's okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just kill this one. There we go. All right, now we got three dining chairs. Okay, you guys get to it. That way, when you guys decide to eat, we'll have some food. Oh, we'll have a table to eat that food at. And they're going to hunt and stuff, too. You could select them to hunt. The beds are going to be very, very important, though. I really hope they get that done pretty quick. <laughs> Leanna's just like going in and out the door. All right, so on the right side here, you get any type of uh, alerts that you need. Why or is nobody making beds yet? Is it because we need wood? We have, yeah, we do need wood. At the top left here, you can see all of the different materials that we have. So let's go ahead and designate an area that we can start pulling wood from. Um, production, no zone area I'm still kinda clumsy with the uh, there we go orders uh, still kinda clumsy with the controls but what we'll new what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're not gonna do any mining yet I think all we're gonna do is select chopping wood and we'll do it in this area this is all things that we can chop alright and as they need wood they will grab it from there I think that's how it's gonna go so let's see right now what is Robert doing Robert is wandering why are you wandering you're not doing anything specific I don't know what the confused wandering you don't have anything to do Robert uh, how about Robert do what what skills do you have bro you have you have growing. Oh, you know what? I got something we could do. Let's set up some food plots. Okay, so if we select architect zone, we can select growing zones here. Now we already have like a stockpile zone. Let's uh, let's just make a few, a uh, couple of fields here. Let's do. I don't want to do them too close here. Uh. 10 by 10 let's do an 8 by 8 and we'll do we'll start with 2 and that should be fine um, all right so we can select these and designate what we're gonna grow here and I would like to grow corn and rice there we go all right rice plants rice oh I put the I, I hit the eye on it rice plant there we go all right, that's going to designate them. And now Robert should have something to work on. Oh, what is this? Hold on. A timber wolf. Uh-huh. He's just wandering around. Nothing really to worry about yet. I don't think. Sometimes animals go wild and they just like attack you out of nowhere. It's crazy. All right. Oh, hold on. We got something that just happened. Cover and shooting. The important thing to do in range combat is use cover. Cover only works if your colonist is touching it and between you, your colony and the enemy. You can place colonists behind walls, corners, and will lead out and shoot. Uh, things can be used as cover, but some things are better than others. Hiding behind a tree is better than nothing, but hiding behind sandbags is better than using a tree. Alright, so they we did have a sandbag deal in the tutorial um, that, I, uh, that I had. I definitely want... To make sure that we have walls before we worry about defense but I suppose all of that's really important if we get too tired though I don't know why we're not uh... Lacey what are, what are we doing here are you who's who's in charge of construction we gotta figure out construction okay Lacey you are doing construction here cannot work on bed blueprint or materials needed I thought we did have we haven't gotten the um the work yet Maybe we should prioritize that a little bit different then. 
Do we have anybody that's doing it? Robert, you still wondering? Um, how about we look at work and prioritize it? So, let's see. Anybody who cannot harvest stuff? Uh, Robert is the only one that can grow. That's okay. Uh, Lacey is the only one that can mine. And Robert's the only one that can plant cut. I think I want to be able to have any of them plant or cut. Uh, everybody can haul. That's good. Crafting, I suppose, is do general low skill labor work at stations. Stone cutting, smelting, and more. All right. So we don't need to worry about that yet. Cooking, hunting, warden, flick, bed rest. Everybody could do that. Why? You could deny people bed rest? That's terrible. Uh, doctor, firefight, patient, cleaning, and research. Oh, I do need to select research. Uh, we do need to build a research bench. Uh, we're going to do that later then, I suppose. All right. So, why are you guys not building anymore? Ah, y'all cutting some wood. There we go. Now things are happening. Also, when we seal this place up finally, it'll get a roof and then we can start applying floor as well. But I think it's wood that we need. Wood first. Okay, we're building up our little table and stuff. I really wish I would have went for that other stuff first. Hold on. What's, what's beeping? We got beeping going on. Lacey failed while constructing. Ah, some resources have been wasted. That's not too bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> she just crashed out. Uh, because they don't have no beds. I don't know why they just didn't prioritize beds first. I guess I could have possibly manipulated that. This is going to mess with their mood really, really bad, though. Where is Zul'jin right now? Robert's out just wandering still. Yep, confused wandering. Space Cadet. How about... Where is Zul'jin? Where did you go, man? Oh, there you are. You are sleeping under the stars, you too, huh? Okay. Well, let's get this show on the road. Let's move on fast. It would be really nice if I could get beds for the first night. Look, Leanna knows where the bed's at. Oh, that's just his sleeping spot. Colonists need warm clothes. Is it cold? Right now? New lovers. Oh, we had some autosaving too. Zul'jin and Lacey have come together and are now lovers. Oh my gosh. Tracy ain't gonna like that. I, I wasn't even trying to procreate, but you know. <laughs> I gotta, a man gotta do what a man gotta do. I guess. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe it. We became lovers. All right, we finally making beds. Good. Mental break confusion. Hold on, what's going on here? Robert Genesis has broken down and is wandering around confused. That's what happened. He had a um, he had a breakdown early on. Okay, so we got beds now. Bam! Here we go. Yay! It's complete. We got roof on all of it, you guys. Okay, so now the only thing we don't have is the torch. Uh, but we're going to be working on that. And it looks like we just need a little bit more wood for that corner. And for here, huh? Or is this going to be... Yeah, it should be set. Alright. So, uh... Now we need to select floor after this table's made. Bam! No more eating on the flow. And let's select the floor here. Um, how do we do that again? Expand roof areas? No. S uh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it at here? Structure. Wooden walls, doors, no. Floors. Pow! Wooden floors is what we need. Okay. And we got... I know it's not enough. We'll select right here too. All right, I don't think we need floors in this. This is actually already floor, huh? Okay, and cancel this. Okay, 
So that should be good. They should floor all of that in and we'll be pretty good after that. We're going to need a little bit more wood to do that. Oh, they got it going on now, though. So far, no catastrophes, you guys. No catastrophes at all. I feel pretty good about this. We're getting our floors. We got an oven. Oh, Robert's cooking now. No more breakdown for him. He's like, I'm going to make us a little sauce now. I love it. I love it. Lacey, what are you... Stargazing. You, you are a hippie. You are a freaking hippie. Ah, she's turning, she's soldier. She's turning you into a hippie. Y'all better not be doing no opium. I don't even know if there's opium on this map. The turkey's sleeping out here. All right, we all got beds now. Oh, man. I feel pretty good about this, you guys. I'm going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you did, give me some tap on that like button to show your support. And I guess I'll see y'all in episode two. Remember to leave all the comments that you guys like. Let me know what I should be doing, what I'm not doing well, what I'm doing well. <laughs> all of the good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljit signing off, and we'll see you next time.